is aware of. And if you know anything, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. Now look. During my career, I've had students jump at me, throw things at me. Another one tore my room up. There's no protection for the teachers. And I went through a lot to be a better teacher. We are losing this treasure right here. And she's not returning to teaching. I'm not giving up on you. Inspire, motivate, educate, and encourage all principles that teachers strive to accomplish when it comes to bettering the future of their students. And let me tell you, they do not enter that classroom for the money. They do it because they have a passion for helping and mentoring children. But now some educators from across the country are fleeing their classrooms in record numbers. Why? Because two... Why? Why? And... Why? First, why? Why? Culture. Why? Culture. It's the culture that is why they're leaving. These teachers are leaving their professions because of a culture. No. These teachers are leaving their profession because of sun turds. In these schools, when a teacher gets assaulted, there's a 98% chance that it was a sun turn. 98. Too many claim it is becoming a war zone where they are sitting ducks and the targets of disrespect ranging from verbal abuse to being violently beaten by their own students. Tonight, you will hear from the teachers on the front lines and learn what they claim is a surge in student aggression and misconduct towards teachers. Now, these dedicated professionals who entered the field because they cared, they wanted to make a difference and help mold our leaders of tomorrow. My first guest, Cheryl, says she came out of retirement because she loved teaching. But that all changed after a student left her battered and bruised. Now, who would beat up an old woman in front of a classroom of other kids? Who would beat up an old woman in front of anybody? Listen, who would beat up an old woman in front of one other person? Like, just like, you about to beat the shit out of an old woman and somebody bend the corner. He like, I'll bet you lucky. I was about to whoop your head. Like, who wants to be seen beating up an old lady? Who does that in public, in front of people? Uh, and? Sun turns. You know, you know what I want to say is culture? Because in other cultures, let's say African culture, for example, or, or whatever kind of black culture, if you beat or, or hit a uh, older, uh, what you call an uh, elder, can you? That's not. That's can not. You, bad, that's not flying. I think he don't know about the kung fu, Greg. Yeah, <laughs> he he don't don't know. Know. yeah. All right, man. I'm gonna let you go ahead. And show can you show debunk right. all that bullshit? Yeah. Show they don't try that shit with me. Fuck that. You a yeah. son man, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a little different. I know. Yeah, but you 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 know that this is how they roll though. Right. Of course. I mean, I, I mean, I work at the school system, so I see these animals. Yeah. Apes. Take a look at this. I've been a teacher 33 years. That day, it was kind of quiet day. You never think that something like that would happen. She was so mad. She kept hitting me. Nobody came to help me. I just wanted to get away. Think about this. An old woman is being beaten. Old woman that they know. She's the teacher. They know her. They're familiar with her. She's being beaten savagely by a woman, by a young lady in the hallway or in the classroom, and no one helps her. Do you think, listen, First, I need you to just answer this question, yes or no. And I would like the chat to also answer this. 
if there was one glider in that area, would he have helped? He or she have helped? No, he, he would he have helped? Yep. I was right. DNA. Most likely, but. Yes, DNA. I know. I know yeah. gliders. Yeah. He would have helped. He would have he would have done something. He would have called the police. He'd have called, called the security. He'd have he'd have went to the um he'd have encouraged others to do something. He might have even stepped in and you know tried to break it up. He might have even come to try to pull her off. Now he probably got his ass beat because the Sun Men would have loved loved watching fights and they would have probably been mad that he was ruining their entertainment. But he would have done something. I'm not saying how it would have turned out. You would have done something. During my career, I've had students jump at me, throw things at me. Another one tore my room up. Another one pushed me. There's no protection for the teachers. I do not feel safe. All right. So Ox, Ox, she will yeah, still right. vote we Democrat. Oh, well, I was gonna say, I was gonna say. <laughs> She's that's sick. That right there is sick. She wouldn't even think about voting GOP. Like, yeah, that thought wouldn't even She's, occur to her, bro. The next time some kid in her town got shot by police, she would be like off tweeting about it and torn up and. Up at night in her bed thinking about it and shit. Again, with another violent weekend in Chicago, nearly three.